Oh, welcome back to Decentralized News. So I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update on uh, Voyager Digital, which has now actually gone on to file uh, for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And uh, they are proposing some sort of a recovery plan. So if uh, you didn't know Voyager, we did put out a video just a couple of days ago highlighting that the fact that this uh, crypto lending platform had uh, halted withdrawals, meaning that uh, some customers couldn't have access to their funds. And uh, it is uh, now one of the growing list of uh, C5 platforms that we've seen over the last uh, few weeks and a uh, couple of months really um, come into severe constraints uh, due to a lack of uh, liquidity and uh, just uh, the collapse in uh, the crypto markets where they were promising very high yields on uh, certain assets. So just uh, days after pausing with draws and uh, deposits, crypto uh, exchange Voyager Digital has now actually filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the Southern District of uh, New York. So Voyager's uh, Chapter 11 uh, bankruptcy filing indicated that it is on the hook for anywhere between a billion dollars to billion dollars, $10 billion in assets. And uh, they do owe this to about 100,000 creditors. So the troubled crypto exchange did waste no time uh, after the uh, US uh, holiday of July 4th in um, going over and uh, making sure that uh, this uh, bankruptcy filing was uh, put in place. So in a statement that they put out, uh, they did explain that uh, the move is uh, part of a reorganization, um, a plan of uh, reorganizing the company. And uh, once that's implemented, uh, the plan would enable uh, clients to reaccess their accounts again and uh, Voyager would return value to customers. So the CEO explained uh, the proposed plan, which involves uh, customers with uh, crypto in their accounts, receiving a combination of uh, crypto proceeds from uh, Three Arrows Capital Recovery, common shares in the newly reorganized uh, company and uh, some Voyager tokens. Uh, if you know, this is uh, another one of those companies that had exposure to the hedge fund uh, Three Arrows Capital, which has also uh, seen its demise as uh, of uh, the last uh, several days. And uh, yeah, so according to Stephen, who is the CEO, uh, they said um, as part of the process, the proposed plan of reorganization would resume account access and return value to customers. And under this plan, which is subject uh, to change given ongoing discussions with other parties requires court approval. He also added uh, confirmation that customers with uh, US dollars in their accounts will be able to actually access those funds after a reconciliation and fraud prevention process is completed with uh, Metropolitan Commercial Bank. In uh, the same Twitter thread where this was mentioned, uh, he also mentioned uh, that he felt uh, chapter 11 was the best route for his clients considering all factors and assured that the move would protect assets on the platform and that uh, voyager will continue to operate uh, so um, he said that part of the reorganization process will see the company filing first day motions that will allow it to maintain its operations so it also intends to pay its employees in the usual manner and continue their primary benefits and certain customer programs without any disruptions however trading deposits withdrawals and uh, loyalty rewards will remain suspended and uh, signs that uh, voyager and his clients were experiencing uh, these headwinds uh, um, came after the lending platform entered into a 500 million uh, dollar loan agreement with the trading firm Alameda Research to cover losses from its exposure to crypto venture capital firm Three Arrows Capital, which we mentioned earlier. And uh, a day later, the platform lowered its uh, daily withdrawal limit to 10,000. On July 1st, announced uh, that it would be suspending trading deposits, withdrawals, and loyalty contributions or distributions rather. And the company subsidiary Voyager Digital LLC also previously issued a notice to of default to Three Arrows Capital for failure to make the required payments for its loan 
of uh, some 15,250 Bitcoin and also 350 million USDC. However, Three Arrows Capital is going through Chapter 15 bankruptcy proceedings and has reportedly been forced to liquidate uh, to be liquidated by the British Virgin Islands, suggesting that it could be difficult for Voyager to recover the funds that it lent out. So I guess, you know, this is uh, the unfolding of uh, all the drama that's been going on as far as uh, this whole saga surrounding uh, liquidity issues and uh, these uh, CFI lenders in the space. And I'm sure it's all starting to really play out now. And uh, I'm hoping any kind of entities that had exposure to any of these uh, um, other firms that have gone under uh, starting to come to the light and you know they're moving fast in actually finding resolutions for clients and customers which signals to me a maturity point in uh, uh, this crypto space in terms of uh, just kind of trying to handle these matters in a more professional way and of course I think you know with the uh, looming uh, regulation and uh, just general oversight and of course maybe after all of this has happened there'll be less appetite for people to come into the space knowing that there is accountability if they are not doing the proper due diligence and uh, sort of uh, setting customers up for failure essentially so let me know what your thoughts are don't forget to check out the links in the description to my books tokenized trillions and blockchain applied if you want to know more about real world asset tokenization on the blockchain and also blockchain applied will let you know all about all the different use cases that people are using in terms of uh, just leveraging uh, sort of uh, distributed ledger systems and uh, blockchain based technologies to date in real life real companies that do work so you can find uh, uh, case studies for uh, the applications in uh, healthcare, in uh, the public sector, also in supply chains, in financial markets, of course, and uh, a whole lot of other industries, including supply chains and transportation, education, and so forth. Let me know. Check out the links in the description, also to our Telegram and our Discord server. And don't forget to share and like and uh, subscribe to the channel. A lot of you do watch the videos here and there but uh, are not subscribed let me know show me some support keep me motivated to make more of these videos like share subscribe i'll see you in the next video guys peace